Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today in this video we will show you how to prepare cold cream and what are the importance of each ingredients which we add in the preparation of cold cream. This video is also available in Hindi explanation, link is given in the description box. This practical video is specially for the pharmacy student as per PCIC labors. Now let's know what is cold cream. Cold cream is basically oil based semi solid preparation or you can say it is an emulsion in oil type preparation and why this cream is called cold cream because when we apply this on the surface of a skin we feel cooling sensation means when we apply this cold cream water evaporated and create a cooling sensation cold cream is used to moisturize the skin and especially in the winter season it protects our skin from dryness due to its moisturizing property now next let's know the ingredient used for the preparation of cold cream first ingredient is beeswax here we have weighed 3.2 gram of beeswax for the preparation of 20 gram of cold cream. Next ingredient is borax. Here we have taken 0 0.16 gram of borax. We have weighed all the ingredients here for the preparation of 20 gram of cold cream. Next methyl paraben as preservative. Here we have weighed 0 0.02 gram of methyl paraben. Next is perfuming agent. Here we have taken rose oil as perfuming agent. We have to add sufficient quantity of rose oil at the time of preparation of cold cream. Now next is liquid paraffin. We have weighed about 10 gram of liquid paraffin. In place of liquid paraffin you can also use almond oil or coconut oil. As we have already told you that here we have weighed all the liquids and the solid to prepare 20 gram of cold cream. Now next is the procedure to prepare cold cream. First of all take beeswax which we have already weighed 3.2 gram and then transfer it into the clean and dry china dish. Here we have used beeswax as a base means it is used as a stiffening agent in the preparation of cold cream stiffening agent means it makes the cold cream stiff means it makes the consistency increase the viscosity of the cold cream beeswax has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial property also and this properties makes the beeswax very useful for healing smaller wounds and injuries and it's also used for slight skin irritation too and it works as an antioxidant and is also a good source of vitamin A. And this beeswax is a very common ingredient used in the different cosmetic preparation like lip balm, lipstick, lip gloss etc. Next ingredient is liquid paraffin which we have already weighed about 10 gram and then transfer it into the same china dish containing beeswax. Liquid paraffin is a mineral oil. One of the important factor of the skin care is to preserve, is to maintain the moisture of the skin. So this liquid paraffin makes a layer on the skin and act as a barrier on the skin to prevent the loss of moisture from the skin means to prevent the skin from dryness. And because of this moisturizing property this oil is also a common ingredient of eczema preparation. Next step is to heat the mixture of beeswax and liquid paraffin on the boiling water bath. On heating beeswax starts to melt and will get miscible with the liquid paraffin. In between heating, stir the content of the china dish with the help of glass rod to properly mix the beeswax and liquid paraffin. Here you can see that beeswax is now completely get melt and miscible with the liquid paraffin. Remove the china dish from the water bath and keep it aside. We have to note that china dish remain hot or you can see the content of the china dish remain in the liquid form while adding the other remaining ingredients. Next we have to prepare the solution of borax. We have already weighed 0 0.16 gram of borax. Transfer it into the small beaker containing 6 ml of water. Stir with the help of glass rod to dissolve the borax in the water. Here you can see that borax do not dissolve in the water at normal room temperature. So we have to heat the content of beaker to dissolve the borax in water. Borax is now completely dissolved in water. 
Now, with the help of dropper, we have to add the boric acid solution drop by drop in the content of china dish. Means china dish containing liquid solution of liquid mixture of beeswax and liquid paraffin. And with the help of glass rod, continuously stir the content of the china dish. Borix is basically the salt of boric acid and this boric acid react with the free acid of beeswax and act as an emulsifying agent. Emulsifying agent are those agent which makes the water and oil miscible and borax and other than emulsifying agent it also prevent the growth of bacteria and also maintain the pH of our preparation means sodium borate and boric acid prevent or retard the bacterial growth and thus protect the cosmetic and other personal care products from the spoilage and it is also used to control the pH and to minimize the change in the pH of a solution when an acid or a base is added. Means it is used to maintain the pH of our preparation. Now next step we have to add the methyl paraben. Here we have already weighed 0.02 gram of methyl paraben and then transfer it into the china dish and mix it with the help of glass rod. Continuously stir till the particles of methyl paraben get completely dissolved in the content of the china dish. Here methyl paraben acts as a preservative means it preserve protect our preparation from the bacteria which prevents the growth of the bacteria in our preparation. Now add 1 to 2 drop of perfume. We have taken rose oil and after adding 1 to 2 drop of rose oil then continuously mix the content of the china dish with the help of glass rod. As the content of the china dish will cool down, the consistency of the content of china dish will change and it will become more viscous and finally convert into semi-solid cream form. Here you can see that our cold cream is ready and this cold cream is used as screen moisturizer and other than this it is also used to make the skin smooth and soft and also to remove the makeup from the skin. Thank you very much for watching this video.